welcome to today's community craft with us at BDCA and today is Fantastic Creature Day and we're going to be making some Fantastic Creature style masks here. Oh, and I'm joined by Bo. <laughs> Hello there, Bo. Um, Feathers, I don't know where Feathers has gone off to. She was being very, very cheeky this morning. You see, um, we, were, we were blessed to be able to get our trampoline to go in our garden. And what she was doing is she was jumping on the trampoline. That's it, Bo. I know she was. She was jumping on the trampoline and she was flinging her poo over in the neighbour's garden. So, of course, I had to have quite a stern word with her. Um, but now she's gone off and she's a little bit upset and cross with me. Um, but I'm hoping that she'll be able to come and join us soon because she would really like um, to make these masks with us. So I'm going to pop Bo down over there. There you go, Bo, you go off. See if you can find feathers. And um, let's start making our masks. So you will need for today's craft a piece of card or paper. I've been able to print a mask off of a computer template, but if you haven't, it's fine, you can just draw it. You will need some ribbon or string, or you can have some of these hair bands here, if you've got about three or four of those. And then you'll need anything you like to decorate your mask. So maybe some pens, um, I've got some feathers, and some sequins, and because of that, I'm gonna have some glue. So, oh, and I also need my craft safe scissors, so I'll just reach across and get these here. There we go. So, hopefully Feathers will be along soon because I'll need her to, um... Lottie, can you get the door, please? Yep. Is that all right? Oh, my goodness, who Perfect. are you? Who is it? Um, this kind of... I okay, don't, don't worry, come in, come, let me check because we shouldn't really be letting people in our house. Hello there. And who are you? You're, you're who? You are the inspector for quality control of chocolate. And you've come to check to see that all of our chocolate is in order. Oh. Okay, well, I didn't realise they were sending people around to check. Okay, we've not got an awful lot of chocolate in the house. I've got some here. Um, well, well, how do you check it? You taste it? But then what if you taste it and it's good? You eat it? Oh, well, but I don't really want you to eat my chocolate. But you have to, okay. Okay, well, the, the law's the law. So what, what do you want to try first? A gold coin, okay. So, okay, well, I'll unwrap the gold coin for you and... Well, I'm sure they're fine, you know, we haven't had them in the house long, but do, do I just give it to you? Oh, my goodness me. What's on the... So what's, what's the idea with that chocolate? Bad? So what do I have to do? Give you all the coins. You're going to confiscate them. Okay, I'll give you all the coins then. It's a bit sad, isn't it? It's inspectors taking all my chocolate. And um, what one do you want next? The Kit Kat. Okay. So you, you want me to open the Kit Kat? But it's my favourite. I was going to have it with a cup of tea. Okay. Oh my goodness me. What do you think of that? You got out my Kit Kat? Now, I know full well that she can't take the Twix. I know that. The Twix was bought yesterday. It's not bad. You've got to taste the Twix. But I bought it yesterday. Look, the, the date on it is fine. sharp teeth. You don't really like dairy milk, so you're not going to try that. Do I have any jammy dodgers? It's you! You naughty flamingo! You've just eaten my Kit Kat! You... Oh, feathers! Honestly! You are... She is so 
cheeky. Feathers. Give me back that. Oh, I'd actually, I don't want it now. Oh, my goodness me. She is such a naughty flamingo. Oh, my goodness me. You can come here and you can help me now. I'm really upset. I was so looking forward to that Kit Kat. I knew there wasn't such a thing as a, what is it, a quality control chocolate inspector, you cheeky flamingo. Well, anyway, so while we're waiting for feathers, let's get on with our craft. So, if you've got a pencil... Yeah, I'm going to have words with you, Missy. Yeah, okay. You can. I hope you're going to be a good helper for me today. No cheekiness. So, we're making our mask today as our creative, as our fantastic creature day. So, once you've drawn an outline of your mask, and again, it can be whatever shape you want it to be, we are then going to use our scissors to cut it out. What are we saying? Is this one for me? No, I thought you were at least giving me some chocolate back. You just missed it, did you? Careful your beak, your teeth are so sharp. We've got our scissors feathers, what do we say? Parents, we've got our scissors. So we are going to cut out along the line there of our masks. So tomorrow, I know we're still on today as being fantastic creature day, but tomorrow is what day on Fridays? Superhero day, that's right. And we usually like on Fridays, don't we, to come dressed as, as superheroes. That's right. And we like to be inventive about what superheroes we are um, and we also like to acknowledge the real superheroes of this world such as all the people who are keeping us safe at the moment so like the transport drivers and the supermarket staff what's that what are you doing you want some more chocolate you can't have any more chocolate feathers honestly it's not good for your tummy you've already been flinging poo at the neighbors please stop eating the chocolate so here we have a mask and what we're going to do is we need to make sure that we can see out of the mask. Yes, we do. So what we need to do is to somehow pop our fingers there and see where our eyes will be. So I've guessed that mine are gonna be around there. But what you'll just need to do is very carefully is you'll need to just kind of pop your finger to see where the mask will be and then pop it down on the table and then you'll just need to make sure that you draw a little eye hole, so it will look something like that, as to where your, you need to cut. So the best way to cut this and to cut it safely is to fold the circle of where your eye hole is. And then as you fold it, you can just snip it like that to make a little incision. And then you've got there a little bit of a gap to cut round. That's very clever, isn't it, feathers? So some of you may want to wear your masks that you made today for Superhero Day tomorrow. That would be good, wouldn't it, feathers? Yeah, that would be good. Um, and of course, it's Thursday today, so do make sure that your parents let you stay up a little bit late so you can go outside and clap our NHS star at eight o'clock. Oh, yeah. You're usually very loud, aren't you, Feathers, at 8 o'clock on a Thursday? Yeah, they can hear you. There's not many... That's what she does. And there's not many neighbours that have flamingos. And so, they're... all right, Feathers, it's not 8 o'clock yet. Although it's very lovely you're showing your appreciation for our carers. So there we go. So I have made the eye mask holes there. What you're then going to need is you're going to need something to hold your mask around your face. So if you don't like the idea of it being kind of uh, wrapped around your face, you could even sellotape a lolly stick or a straw here so it's a mask that you can hold up to your face. But I'm going to make one so that it sits around my face. And the best way to do that is near the edge, again, draw two tiny little circles. And then with your pencil, you need to make a little hole. So we did this before with the craft, so just make sure you're being careful and push your pencil through your mask. That makes a little hole like that. And then the same on the other side. There we go. Uh-oh. Feathers has somehow got the elastic band stuck around her beak. That means you can't really talk, doesn't it? 
doesn't it? Do we think that I should take it off? But that means I'll have a really quiet few minutes. Should I take it off? Shall I be kind to her? I will be kind because I love you. There we go, let me take that off for you. Oh, yes, yeah, she's so annoyed. She had the cheek to throw my chocolate back at me. You keep that over there, Feathers. I need your help with the glue. There we go, you hold that for me. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna decorate my mask. So I've made the little holes there because that's gonna be where my ribbon. <laughs> Thank you very much, but I don't actually need the glue on my arm. Thank you, I need it on the mask. So why don't you make a good job of putting that on the mask rather than my fingers, uh, my arm. So I'm going to put on my mask, I'm going to put some feathers. And I think, what colour feathers am I going to put on my... I'll tell you what feathers, I'm going to have a pink one. Do you want some help with that glue? Yeah, you seem to be able to get it everywhere but on the mask, don't you? Yeah, that's right. So, I'm going to put some pink feathers around here. Oh gosh, there we go. There aren't many other animals, are there, with pink feathers? Are there? No, they're not. You're quite a unique species, aren't you, feathers? Your lovely pink feathers. Yeah. So there we go. I have some now. Oh, there we go. Right, and then I'm going to put some around here. And as we said, you can make this, you can colour it, you can use tissue paper, you can use foil, you can use pens, you can do whatever you would like on your mask. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some really nice... Or yellow feathers here. There we go. Because I like yellow. That's my favourite colour, isn't it? It's going to look a little bit something like that. Look at that. I really do look like some kind of fantastic creature, don't I? Like that. And then I've got some little gems here. Oh, wow, that's lovely. They all come off like that. I'm going to actually put them across like this here. Does that look good, feathers? Yeah, you like that? Good. Okay, and so obviously I'm, I'm rushing my mask a little bit because I only have a little bit of time um, for these videos, but you can spend as much time as you want on your mask because you don't have to rush like I do. There we go. So look, I've got some nice little charms around mine. I've got a nice little sparkly mask. Now what I'm going to do to make sure that it holds on around my face is, so as I said, you can use these little elastic bands here, but I... got some ribbon that I'm going to use. So I've got, I've got some ribbon, that's right. So I've got a couple of bits here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm, you can hold this bit, thank you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put it through the hole here now you probably will need a little bit of parents help to do this because you're going to then just need to tie a little knot at the end of the ribbon so it doesn't go through like my one just did. There we go. Just tie that up there. Thank you Feathers, that was very helpful of you. I still can't believe you fooled me and it might kick out. My goodness, you owe me a Kit Kat, you do. Yes, you do. Right, and then there we go. Like that. Okay, let that go through. And then you should have some ribbon like that and then be able to tie it round. And then you probably will need an adult to help because you don't want to tie it so tight that you can't get it off, you just want to tie it loosely so that you're then able to help yourself. And look, there we go, look at that. I think I'm gonna decorate mine a bit more and add some other colour feathers. But there we go, that's your mask there. And we really can't wait to see um, your mask, to see what you've made, um, what accessories you've done with your mask. There you go, feathers, look at that. There we go, one just for you, there you go, um, what you've done um, to make your mask. Um, 
And tomorrow we are going to be adding to our masks and making ourselves superhero shields. Can you do your best superhero pose feathers? Oh, look at that. Right, there we go. So, and the, the shields will look a little something like this here. So, for this craft, you will need a paper plate or a piece of card. There we go. You will need some tissue paper or, again, any kind of um, <laughs> other paper that you've got laying around the house and some pens and if you've got them some stickers so that's it from us today so kids um stay safe um stay at home uh, make sure you wash your hands that you tidy up especially after today because it's quite a messy craft and make sure that you go out tonight and say thank you to our carers and clap at your front door okay feathers and i'm going to now send feathers to tesco's to go and buy me a kit kat yes i am okay take care kids bye